already with uh, some very special guests are with Alejandro. Thank you, Jen. We're here with Robin Lady and Terry Bronner. Dr. Lady, you're okay. from the St. Louis Students Robotics Association. Tell us a little bit about what that is. Because you're not the only special guest here. I am not. Actually, uh, the, the guest of honor here is Archie. He is our mascot for our organization, the St. Louis Student Robotics Association. Uh, we are a nonprofit. Uh, we have been in business since 2016. And our goal is to uh, make robotics uh, the next leading youth team sport. And so we work with lots of different uh, robotics organizations, including uh, First Robotics, Vex Robotics, and uh, others. And I brought a student with me today. So this is Terion. Terion is from Soldan High School. And uh, Terion is also a chess player. Oh, awesome. Well, tell yeah. us a little bit about your career in both robotics and chess. Okay. I've only been ch playing chess for uh, two years, so I'm not as good as it. And um, and as for the dream team, um, it's just a gathered. Uh, it's a bunch of schools put together, and we all come together in our environment, and we meet at Made, where uh, as our partner, and we volunteer on Sundays with children to introduce them to robots. That's pretty cool. I got a bunch of questions here, but first, tell me, sure. tell me about this guy. Who, who's Archie? So Archie is uh, kind of our mascot for the St. Louis Student Robotics Association, and we use Archie as a way to introduce STEM to young kids. So, you know, when we go to a STEM night or a STEM event or even here, uh, kids want to drive robots. They want to mm -hmm. see them. They want to drive them. And so this robot is kind of non-threatening, and he's really cute. Uh, and he's kind of our mascot. The robot on the screen, however, right now, uh, that robot uh, is actually a prototype robot uh, that is used to help with our dream team. So as Terion said, we have a dream team uh, at uh, made at the new Magic House location on Delmar, really close to here. And it's a community team made up of students from many different school districts, public, parochial, and homeschool as well. And those uh, kids are going to get together and play the game that you see there. So that's a mini Lego version scale of the actual FRC game. So uh, Terion actually has one of the parts here and tell them what that part is and what it does. Um, it's the power cell and in the first 15 seconds of the game our, robot, our robots are not being controlled and they have reflective tape that they use to um, shoot and they use the power cells to shoot into the power ports to score points. Um, on the first. So they're basically playing robot basketball or soccer in, in a way, but you said for the 15 seconds they're autonomous. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us a little bit about these challenges I'm hearing about the Worldwide Technology Raceway. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is that? So Worldwide Technology uh, Raceway is one of our new partners. That's one of our new partners in 2019. And what we do with the raceway is we have uh, events there. So last year at the Indy Race, we set up a STEM lane. And so, uh, you know, the racetrack uh, over in Madison, Illinois, was recently bought by Worldwide Technologies. And one of the purposes of the raceway now is they want to have a STEM influence for kids. So last summer, uh, the weekend of the Indy race, we had STEM Lane with over 12 exhibitors, uh, four robotics teams, the Boy Scouts, and we had a STEM exhibit that saw over a thousand kids that weekend. It was so powerful that this year we're going to be back again, and they've doubled our space, and we want to double uh, our exhibitors as well and have something for kids. Uh, STEM related at, of all ages. So that's just one of our initiatives. And, Dream. And when, mm -hmm. when is or what's that? So that race is going to be August 22nd and 23rd that weekend uh, and that's at the Worldwide Technologies Raceway. That's cool. How long does it yeah. take to prepare for one of these races? Well, so to prepare for like an exhibit at STEM Lane, mm -hmm. um, I started preparing as soon as the other one ended last year. <laughs> and so it, it takes quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, Another one of our initiatives is our dream team, and uh, that's kind of really close to our heart right now. We're working a lot with St. Louis Public School. Uh, the Magic House, as you can see, Terion has his T-shirt. The Magic House is one of our partners. Uh, we have also great mentors, great coaches, and great kids from all over the place. And this dream team uh, is actually going to compete. And so we are, yeah, it tells you right there, Delmar Robotics Engineers at the Magic House. So. Um, that's a little bit about our dream team. Um, upcoming in April, however, uh, back to kind of the worldwide uh, technology uh, raceway. Uh, as you know, in basketball and some of the other activities we have in St. Louis, uh, they have uh, a Missouri versus Illinois competition. 
So we have it in college basketball. And so we're going to do the same thing this year with robotics. So we're going to have a robotics competition with six teams from Missouri, six teams from Illinois. We're calling that the Robot Rumble at Worldwide Technologies okay. Raceway. That's on Saturday, April 4th. Saturday, April 4th. That sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys, you should check it out. Darren, I have a question for you. Chess player and robotics, I know that I'm probably more heavily geared towards robotics at the moment. But tell me, what are the sub-similarities you've noticed between the two? Um, in a lot of robotics, we have to do a lot of planning ahead of time and for our strategy for the game, as you would in chess, of course. And then you have to be planning several moves ahead for in chess. And in robotics, we have to plan ahead for things like that, for like um, breaks and for us to score our points and stuff, as you would with as there's points in chess for taking each uh, part, um, piece. Well, that's awesome. That was just a final way to end. How do people get involved uh, with all of this? Well, uh, as you saw on the screen, we do have a website, um, www.slsra.org. Uh, we have all kinds of information on there and forms that you can fill out to be a volunteer or a mentor. Uh, our dream team meets at MAID um, at the Magic House uh, right on Del Mar on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Uh, and so we're always looking for mentors, we're always looking for volunteers, but we're also looking for new kids. And so with this being a community team made up of all kinds of high school kids from different schools and communities, we're always looking to add some. So uh, we have lots of opportunities for you to get involved with our organization and just visit our website and it will tell you how. Well, that sounds awesome. You have the website right there. Yeah. That it's just so cool, really. And Archie, you know, yeah. he's awesome. He is. He <laughs> he's is. lovable. So. Well, thank you, Dr. Larry Therion, for joining us here. Guys, let's go back to chess. Well, I get to drive Archie for a while. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're